Good morning, making a quick and simple video for how to air gap K3S. Uh, this question came up yesterday and I realized there are no quick little how to's or videos on the internet on how to do it. So here I have a Rocky OS. I have a Rocky 9.2 VM running. Um, there's a couple steps. I'm going to link, obviously, I'm going to link the gist in the video show notes, but here is the download procedure. So simply, it's going to get a handful of files. Typically, we need the K3S binary. We need the install sh uh, script. We need the air gapped uh, tar images. And for Rocky 9, we need the SC Linux NoArch um, K3S SC Linux package from K3S. Let me go ahead and install, download these real quick. And it's going to just, it takes a sec. The idea basically is you're going to download it on one machine and move it across. Um, there's instructions here on how to compress it and then how to uncompress it. Uh, we're leveraging <clears throat> opt K3S directory just for this. You can tweak it if you need, obviously. Um, all these commands run as root. And then we're going to assume, okay, we air gapped it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create directory, move the binary, move the tar, and install not only the RPM that we downloaded, but then also container SE Linux. So in theory, on your air gap, your VM is going to have access to hopefully a repo server. If not, you'll need to move that container SE Linux, and it's from Rocky, RHEL, CentOS. It's the upstream package. I'll go ahead and install those two. And this does take a minute. Uh, because of all the SE Linux context. Uh, another idea also is to, if you're using Ubuntu, you wouldn't necessarily need to do that. Uh, install actually both those packages, and this, these instructions should just work without uh, you know, the RPM and stuff for Ubuntu. While we're doing this, let me look, let me show you real quick. Interestingly enough, if you actually go to the, the get k3sio webpage, um, you actually get the install script itself, and you can see there's a bunch of variables. So it is pretty well documented. One of the ones I want to kind of highlight here is the disable traffic, K, you know, install K3S exec command. So this is where if you want to choose a different uh, ingress controller, you can add it on later because K3S does come with a couple by default. So keep in mind that is there built into the script itself. And now that that's done, all we have to do is do the install command. And the instructions I have, just what I also want to highlight, is that it's pulling down the latest one, uh, Kubernetes 1.25. You can obviously go to these two, one of these two links. You can go to the GitHub link, and it'll show you. I'll go ahead and update that before the video comes out. But you'll go to a different version, different release tag. And everything worked great. Get node. Kubectl get uh, and interestingly enough, it's actually un it's unpacking that tar with all the images. So this will work 100% air gap. Hope this is helpful. I hope this uh, solves a few problems. And let me know if you got any other questions. Thanks. Bye.